view is positive, negative or neutral based on the language and tone. And uh, this also help us to identify the area for improvement or uh, any kind of complaints or highlighting most positive uh, you know, feedback in the marketing campaign. ROI calculation. Here we are quantifying the measurement on uh, that is return on investment from marketing activities to access the profitability. For example, a software as a company, the SaaS company, which calculate the ROI of their content marketing efforts by comparing the revenue generated from the new subscription attributed to content marketing activities, such as blog posts, webinar, white papers, with the total cost of creating and promoting that content. So by analyzing the ROI of different marketing channels, they can allocate resources more effectively to high performance performance strategies. Then is the data visualization that means presenting your data visually through charts, graphs and dashboards for easier interpretation. So marketing agency creates a dashboard using data visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI to visualize key performance metrics such as website traffic, conversion rates and social media engagement for their clients. So interactive charts, graphs and heat maps allow clients to easily, uh, you know, to, sorry, to easily uh, track performance trends, identify opportunities and make any kind of data driven decision then comes the cross channel attribution that means allocating credit to different marketing channels for driving convergence and revenue so an omni channel retailer uh, can use this cross channel attribution model to measure the impact of their marketing efforts across multiple touch point which include online offline channels by analyzing customer journey data and attributing conversion to specific marketing interaction they can uh, provide you know gain more insight into which channel is contributing most to their conversion and accordingly they can adjust their marketing budget now uh, as I said that there are uh, you know more uh, you know applications on this uh, marketing analytics you can see that one is the consumer behavior analysis so marketing analytics help businesses understand their consumer preferences purchasing patterns and behavior so by analyzing from various touch points such as websites social media and sales transactions businesses can identify a trend segment their audience and tailor marketing strategy to target specific customer segment effectively uh, for example, if we see here, Amazon, they are using marketing analytics to analyze the customer browsing and purchase history to personalize product recommendation and the offers. They also track, uh, you know, uh, their viewing habits and preferences to recommend personalized content to its subscriber. Com uh, another one is the, you know, campaign man optimization. Here they are enabling business to measure the effectiveness of their marketing campaign in real time. So uh, if you see Coca-Cola, they are analyzing, uh, you know, uh, they are tracking uh, these uh, engagement metrics across various channels to optimize spend and target specific demographic more effectively. Airbnb, they are analyzing user interaction with their platform to optimize its marketing campaigns and improve user acquisition and retention. Then is the another application of marketing analytics where marketers are using it is market of course customer segmentation. So based on the demographic behavior and preferences customers are being segmented so that they can receive some personalized messages product recommendation and offer tailored to each segment as well as it provides the uh, you know customer engagement and satisfaction. M most popular example is the Starbucks. So they are you know they are segmenting their customer based on their purchasing behavior preferences so that they can have a personalized promotion and loyalty rewards Spotify is also using uh, using this they are having a personalized playlist and recommendation based on listening habits and preferences predictive modeling yes uh, marketing analytics is majorly used for this to analyze or to for, uh, forecast the future trends outcomes customer behavior and for that they are using machine learning algorithms uh, Google uh, they, they are using predictive modeling to find out the trends optimize ad placements advertisers Walmart is using predictive analytics to forecast the demands for product and optimize inventory management uh, so that they should know then uh, per which particular product uh, is available when customer needs them. ROI measurement uh, major uh, you know everyone because we are investing if we are investing of course we are looking for ROI so Procter and Gamble they are tracking their sales and data marketing spending to calculate the ROI of its marketing campaign and optimize budget allocation across different channels. Adobe is using marketing analytics to measure the ROI of their digital marketing efforts. 
Customer retention and loyalty. Of course, cust uh, let us take an example. We want to retain our customer. We want to, to, you know, have loyal customers. And Starbucks uses this customer feedback and purchase history to identify at risk customers and offer personalized incentive to encourage repeat visits and loyalty. Nike, they are analyzing customer engagement metrics to identify opportunities to improve the customer experience and strengthen the brand loyalty. Competitive intelligence. Now, uh, how marketing analytics is helping them? Because we are monitoring and analyzing the competitors' activity as well. We are also analyzing the market trends and industry development. So by that uh, insights, what we are going to get, we can identify our SWOT. Actually, we can do SWOT, strength, weakness, opportunities. And based on that, we can do the strategic decision making and we can position our uh, strategies re uh, again. For example, Apple, they are, uh, you know, monitoring their competitor product launches and pricing strategy to inform its own product development and marketing decision. Tesla, they analyze market trends and customer preferences to identify opportunities for innovation and differentiation in the electric vehicle industry. Product development innovation, again, here, uh, you know, why we are doing, we are applying marketing analytics because we want to know the needs, pain points, or we want to uh, inform, you know, or we can uh, inform, which can inform product development innovation efforts. So by analyzing customer feedback, marketing trends, and competitive benchmarks, businesses can easily identify the gap in the market, and we can prioritize the product features and launch successfully new products. Uh, now, Samsung, Samsung uh, is gathering feedback of their products and identify, you know, areas for the improvement and innovation. Airbnb in analyze the user behavior and the preferences to identify opportunity to enhance their platform and identify new features that improve their user experience and differentiated offering from the competitors. Now, this is the end of the introductory part of the marketing analytics. Now, in the second, uh, you know, lecture, we are I'm going to talk about the marketing strategies, how to create this marketing analytics strategy. Thank you for now.